Hey everybody, it's Meredith from Mermaid Creations. And for your quick tip Tuesday, we're going to talk about piping and cording. Okay, so piping and cording comes in an array of sizes and colors. You can buy it in this small size that's already pre-packaged. This is very common. You can find this at just about any store. But if you're looking for something that's thicker around than this half inch that comes pre-packaged as maxi piping, then you're gonna probably have to make your own and that's where it starts to get pricey. So today, my quick tip is on how to make your own cording and to not spend a fortune doing it. At any craft store or at the craft section in any multi-purpose store, such as Walmart, you can find what is called cording. It is like a cotton rope and it comes in a vast amount of sizes and I have bought it for years. And then one day I decided that I was sick of paying that much money because it's expensive. So I got to brainstorming on how I could create my own cording without spending too much money doing it. My first cording tip for you today is to find a clothesline. This one's from Walmart, and if you compare this clothesline with standard cording, they're the same size, but the standard cording in the sewing section is only 30 feet long, and it costs almost $7. So this is my first tip as how you can get it super cheap. But what if you want different sizes? You can always go in the craft section and spend a lot of money on this. You have to have them cut by the yard. This one in particular, I can look up the, the price and link it on the page, but it would be expensive. It's not cheap. It's a super thick, chunky cording, which is fun, but you really don't need something this thick. And so my next tip would be how to get a chunkier cording still at a good price. And that's when I go to rope. I found a whole bunch of these ropes at a thrift store, actually it was a salvage store, and they had been donated, or maybe they bought them in bulk from a Walmart probably, or a sporting goods store that was going out of business. And so I was actually able to get these bundles of rope, which were a lot thicker than this, I've used them, for like 50 cents a piece and that's going to be the best way to make cording yourself this rope here obviously it's pink you wouldn't be able to use a light fabric with it but that's okay because i make a lot of cordings in a dark fabric and you won't be able to see it next if you want a chunkier cording like this one this is not as thick but i got this brand new still bundled together at the salvage store for again I think it was 50 cents um, and it is pretty chunky when you make a cording around this and you go ahead and sew it to something it it will look bigger than you think that it looks just holding it here you have to see it in perspective and it will look pretty big and so I actually use this one a lot for handles on bags or to make cording um just pretty much anything that i want like a strong sturdy strap handle cording anything like that and again i wouldn't be able to cover it with a light white but i make plenty of cordings that aren't white and if you're using a lighter fabric that maybe has like some polka dots in it or something that aren't as bright then go ahead and pick out one of the colors that's not as bright to do your trim and it will coordinate and it will match great. And as always, you have the choice of using the clothesline, which is white, and it's only $2. So it's really a great alternative, unless you can find something just super, super cheap or free if you already have some in your garage. And last, if you wanted to make one of these small half inch cordings, and you needed enough of it that you didn't want to buy two or three or four of these packages because that can really add up, then in the rip-in department, they usually have 
um, some kind of satin cord and it will be wrapped around a spool. That is going to be just a little bit cheaper than buying several packages of this half inch. This is probably cheap enough if you don't need very much. Because of that, I don't usually buy the half inch satin cording to make to make a half inch bicycle. I usually just buy it pre-made. However, when I need the bigger size or I need a lot of it, this is the best way to go. This is your Quick Tip Tuesday. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below and check the description box for any more information and leave a comment and hit the like button.